Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. Well, um, I have a word from the Lord and I decided I wanted to come on and give it to you for today since I missed yesterday. And so this evening I just want to leave a word for somebody that might be in need of a word from the Lord. Um, my scripture will be coming from Hebrews, the 13th chapter, beginning at the 5th verse. And it says, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. My name is Merlin Boyd, Pastor Merlin Boyd, and um, I come on, I try to come on at least once, a, uh, at least every day, to give you a word of encouragement. Um, I'm calling this, um, this ministry Nuggets, Nuggets for Life, Nuggets for Life. It's just a small, simple word that may encourage you to be able to make it throughout the day, throughout the, the night, since it's late tonight. And if you, you're going to be listening to this any other time, um, I pray and hope this will encourage you and let you know to keep on keeping on, that God is with you and he'll never leave you nor will he forsake you. So I will be coming from Hebrews 13 and 5. I will never leave you nor forsake you. And if I could use a topic, I would just say tear the walls down. Tear the, tear the walls of protection down. Tear the walls down. You know, when we are hurting from our past situations and relationships, we can become bitter, angry, and put up walls. We decide no one will ever hurt us again. Not like that. So we put up these walls. These walls protect anyone from getting close to us. Anyone from loving us the way they need to love us. Sometimes we have walls up so bad that when the real person comes along that really wants to be in your life, that really wants to love you, that really wants to, to be a part of your life for the rest of your life, we have uh, walls that need to be torn down. I'm reminded of when I first met my husband um, some 39 years ago, um, we both were hurt in our past marriage. Um, he was married to someone, I was married to someone, and we were both hurt. We both walked in on our, our mates doing the unspeakable. And so we, we understood each other when we met. Um, mind you, God does not want us to divorce, but um, if we get into situations, we get into a relationship or a marriage on our own, we pick the person our own on our own, and God is not a part of it. You can look to be in divorce court. You can look to be, um, the enemy will be in, in uh, a part of that relationship. The, in, the enemy will be in the middle of the relationship. But when you get into a relationship that God is in the middle of it, then there should be no divorce. So, however, the two of us met and we were both uh, afraid to love. We were both afraid to let go. We had walls uh, up, uh, walls of protection. We would not get close because we were afraid that we would be hurt. And I remember telling him one day, uh, because he would had a, a, a spirit that would have caused him to be jealous of everywhere I went, whatever I did, and he would ask questions, and I, I didn't like being questioned. And so I had to tell him, there's a wall up, and uh, we both have walls, so let's just meet each other halfway and tear this wall down and and start rebuilding on, a, on, on another foundation. And that foundation is going to be Jesus Christ. He's going to be the center of our relationship. And so I, this is the, uh, we're going to let the past go. Because if we keep holding on to the past, we're going to hurt each other more than we were hurt before. So we decided that Jesus would be the center of our marriage some 39, 38 years ago. So we tore the walls down and we began to build them brick by brick, step by step. 
conversation by conversation, um, learning one another. So with that, on that note tonight, I just want to come and encourage someone that may be hurting, that may have had past issues in a relationship, not just with the um, male counterpart. Now, uh, uh, you could be in a relationship with God and, and you, you feel like God has hurt you or he's left you or, or he's, he's forgotten about you. And so your relationship with him is strained. Uh, it could be a relationship with a parent um, and it's strained because maybe you felt they didn't love you the way you needed to be loved. So your your relationship is strained and 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 you you're, you're not close like you used to be. Maybe it was a relationship with a family member, sister, brother, auntie, uncle. Maybe your children. Maybe a best friend that you thought was your best friend and you were besties for life and you found out that they betrayed you, that they did something they shouldn't have done. Maybe they messed around with on with one of your with one of your friends or maybe they messed around with your husband or your boyfriend. I don't know, your fiance. I don't know what it is. But whatever it is, I come tonight to tell you to tear the wall down. Um, that was the past. And I know you might be saying it's hard to let go of the past. It's hard to forgive and it's hard to forget. I understand I've been there. Um, but you have to let go of the past. Um, I let go of the past with my past relationship and we're friends. Um, you know, I love them the same, you know, cause when you grow, you no longer hold grudges. You'll never forget your past, but you have to let it go, um, to the point that you can move forward because your past will keep you from moving forward and it will have you stuck in a ditch, in a hole and, and, and you won't, you won't be able to pull up. So let's talk about building the walls this to this evening. Let's talk about building walls because your past can make you become bitter. It can make you become angry. It can make you put up walls and you will decide no one else will ever, ever, ever get close to you again. And you may be missing out because God could have that person that he wants to put in your life so that your life can change, so that you can love again. He may have that person waiting on you and um, he comes, but you won't receive him because you're too stuck on what somebody else did to you. Don't punish somebody, someone else for what someone else done to you. I remember um, right after I had met my husband I have now, we were dating, and he wanted to come to church with me, so went to a church service, and it was a lady that came, um, a, a, a lady that looked like a nun. She came to the service, and she came in and she prophesied, and everybody started getting in line in the, the line to get prophesied to. And when I got in the line, the lady told me, and I had just met my husband, and um, she and he was in the service that day, and she said, "Don't let your past get in the way of your future." So I want to leave that with you tonight. I want to tell you, don't let your past get in the way of your future. Somebody's holding on to their past, and God has a beautiful, wonderful future for you. But if you don't let go of the past, He can't send the future. So. Maybe you've been left. Let's talk about people leaving us. Maybe you've been left by your church members. They left you. They left the church. Maybe the person walked out of your marriage and you were trying to build it. But you were the only one in the marriage. You, you were the only one trying to make the marriage work. But the other person walked out. <coughs> Excuse me. Because you were in love and they didn't feel the same way you felt. Maybe they walked out of your friendship. You thought they were a best friend to you. But you found out that they had other friends that they were telling your business to. You found out that they were messing with someone that you loved dearly. And they were your best friend. You thought they were close to you. And you found out that they were really not who they say they were. You thought they felt the same way you felt. But actually, they were tuned in to something or someone else. Perhaps they left you by dying. And you never thought that they would die before you. 
You never thought this person would, would die because they weren't sick. But all of a sudden, they get sick and they die. And you're left wondering, God, what is really going on? I don't understand. One day, maybe, they just left. They left you with no explanation. They just left. They broke your heart. They just left. And now you're wounded and bleeding all over the place. The blood stains are seen in the spirit realm, but not in the natural. In the natural, you appear healed, whole, but you're bleeding all over the place. Everything you touch leaves blood stains. Well, I'm asking you to let the hurt go. Let the anger go. Let the bitterness go. God loves you. Hebrew 13 and 5 says God will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Man will leave you. Man will forsake you. That's why the Bible tells us, put your trust in no man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge God. And he will direct your path. Hebrews 3, 5, and 6. Excuse me, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean to your understanding. See, your understanding will tell you, I'll never forgive them. They really hurt me. I'll never forget it. No one will ever get close to me. I will never be friends with anyone else. I will never trust another man. I will never marry again. I will not. I will not let anyone in my heart again. Because they hurt me. They tore me up. They messed me up. I'm just going to sit down. And I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to make friends. I'm not going to get close to anyone. I'm going to just be by myself. Because if I'm by myself, I don't have to worry about being hurt. Baby. 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 Let it go. Let it go. Your latter days are going to be better than your past days. Than your, 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 your past days. You have a bright future. And God has somebody for you. He has someone waiting on you right now. But the only way you can get to that person is you got to let it go. You got to stop the bleeding. You got to let God stitch you up and restore you. You got to let God stitch that wound up so that you can stop bleeding all over the place. And if you don't know how to do it, all you have to do is say, God, love these people that hurt me. Love them through me. Help me to love again. Help me to trust again. Help me to hold my head up again. Help me to want to be around people again. Help me to live life again. Help me, oh God. And he said, whosoever, call on the name of Jesus. He will save you. They shall be saved. He's not just talking about salvation. But he's talking about anything that you're going through that's got you bound, that's got you held down, that's got you bleeding all over the place. He is able to heal. He is able to deliver you. He is able to set you free. Sweetheart, let it go. Let it go. Bitterness can cause sickness in your body. It can cause pain in your body. It causes stress. Let it go, sweetie. It's not worth holding. He will, God will never leave you. People will. It's a part of life. Because we're human. Even you have left some people. You don't even realize that you did it. Even you have hurt people. And you don't even realize that you hurt them. But you did. You didn't mean to. You're not that kind of person that you want to, but you have, and somebody have hurt you. But I come tonight to tell you, hold your head up. 
Hold your head up. Tear the wall down. We don't have to bleed anymore because Jesus already hung, bled, died, and rose for all that we go through. God can restore you and he can restore me. Sometimes God causes people to leave our lives. Sometimes God will cause people to leave our lives if they are not supposed to be in our lives. Sometimes God will allow them to move on in order for him to take you to the next level. Everyone can't go where you're going. And you can't drag people along that don't want to go. You're going to a next level. You're going to another level. He wants to send the people in your life. But he can't send them if you're bleeding all over the place. Because when he send them and you're bleeding, it'll get on them. And they'll start bleeding. And all you have is a bloody situation all over the place. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone naturally. They're gone physically. So guess what? Let them go. You let them go mentally. You let them go spiritually. Because they're gone naturally and physically. But I'm asking you to let them go mentally. Let them go spiritually. God says, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. And if they've gone, they left you, it was all in the plan. Romans 8, 28 says, And we know mm -hmm, that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and who are the called according to his purpose. Let it go. Tear the wall down. Let it go. The situation is really just ready for you to let it go. Once you let it go, watch God. I love you. God loves you. And I just thought I needed to come on this late, this night, this time. It's 11 o'clock. But I felt the need to come on and let someone know that God will never leave you, nor will he forsake you, and that he loves you. He has your best interest at heart. He wants the bleeding to stop. He don't want you to put a band-aid on it. Mm-mm. Don't put a band-aid on it. He wants to restore you totally. He wants to stitch you up so that it won't come open again. I love y'all. God bless you. And God keep you. Let me say a little word of prayer for you. Father God, we come in the name of Jesus. Thanking you for this day. Thanking you for all that you're doing in our lives. Now God, whoever comes on this channel and begin to listen to the word, open up their hearts, their minds, and their understanding. Help them receive this word. And Father, give, begin the healing as they begin to listen. Father God, anoint this, this word that it will begin to heal, deliver, and set free. And then send the changes in their lives. God, I thank you. I honor you. I give you glory. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Be healed, be delivered, and be set free. Good night.